Hey y'all, this is Brian Swataway with Brian's Bassett and Forecasting, and today we're going to add on repairing because uh, I need to do a little repair to my kayak. Uh, I've had a little ding show up in the front part of the hull, right on, right on the keel, right on the leading edge, um, and I'm getting a little bit of water showing up in the kayak, so I'm going to try to do a repair. Now yesterday, I tried to make my own keel guard. Um, by the time I got off the water this morning, the keel guard was already gone. So the adhesive didn't work. So it was, it worked, but then it fell off. And uh, at least I didn't have any water in the kayak when I got off the water this morning. But here's, here's my issue. You can see, I'm gonna show you where the dent is. It's a pretty pronounced dent right here. So I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit uh, and I'm going to try and weld together couple of pieces of plastic. So I'm gonna to try to use a number two. Now these uh, kayaks are made with the number two high density polyethylene uh, plastic, which is a very common plastic in the United States. Uh, matter of fact, you know, things like this. Um, this has the number two on the bottom of it. So this is something I could use if I had to uh, as material. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm this up, try to smooth it out a little bit, and then I'm going to weld on some additional plastic. I have a propane torch. I could use it, but I would rather not. I, I feel like I would have more control with a heat gun. So I'm gonna run to Home, Home Depot and I'm gonna get me a heat gun and then I'm gonna come back and hopefully do a repair. And I should know by tomorrow morning whether or not my repair worked. But really what I wanna do is I wanna try to reinforce this whole section if I can and just try to add a little bit more beefiness to it. I can feel that this is really thin and really weak right here. So I'm gonna try to reinforce this as best I can. And with a little luck, it'll work. Fingers crossed it works. We'll find out, I'll let you know. All right, I've got my heat gun, so I'm going to start working on warming up the section. Now before I get into the repair, I want to let you know that I also tried uh, a couple of things. I tried using uh, some epoxy putty and put that into the dent and then I covered it with uh, liquid flex seal and that generally worked. Um, it did keep the water out of it, uh, but the problem is that the flex seal, it's not a hard coating, it's a very soft rubbery coating. So once it gets an abrasion, once it uh, rubs up against um, the gravel or sand in the lake or anything else, rocks, it immediately starts to come off. So. Uh, that's a short-term solution, not a long-term solution. I'm hoping this is going to be more of a long-term solution. Let's find out. Okay, so I'm kind of in the middle of the repair right now, and a couple of things I found that work better than others. Um, using a regular spatula or um, spackling blade doesn't work as well. <laughs> it, it's interesting. Actually, just as something smaller like a screwdriver uh, allows me to um, put it into strips, and then, and then what I'm doing is basically laying it across. So I'm gonna continue this type of process going up toward the front, a few more along the back, and then I wanna try to smooth down the edge. But I think for right now, I'm on the right path. I started off kinda rough, but um, it made things worse, but I think I'm back on track now. So uh, I'm gonna continue with this process and um, hopefully by the time it's all said and done, I'll be able to test it and it'll work. All right, I'm mostly done with the repair job. Here's how things have shaped up. I don't think it looks too bad. 
I'm gonna sand it down a little bit, smooth it out in a few spots here or there, but uh, I think overall, I don't think it ended up uh, looking too bad. It certainly filled in the hole. It's nice and nice and solid. I think it's going to uh, hopefully hold up pretty well. And I went all the way around to the front and uh, tried to blend the seams really well and uh, tried to smooth the edge so there'd be a little impact on the actual tracking of the kayak. But um, overall, not too bad. We're gonna see how it holds up. Hopefully, a little bit of luck, it'll actually <laughs> stay on and I will stay dry. So I'll find out tomorrow when I put the kayak back in the water. We'll hope for the best. I'll leave comments uh, below letting you know how it went. All right, I wanted to show you this. This is kind of a follow-up to my repair. Go look inside. Notice it is completely dry. Completely dry. So that repair did the job.